today's video, I'm gonna take $100 and build the greatest pendulum deck for $100 you'll ever see. The best budget pendulum deck you'll ever see. So let's go, baby. Holes for another hour. I went all the way there for nothing. Great. I am very happy right now that I went all the way there for one hour and wasted my time. I'm very angry right now. I kind of just want to break something. I can't break it. You guys notice actually, my table's fixed now. Want to know who fixed it? Not me. My absolutely amazing dad sent me a message saying, Steven, why is your table broken? I had to fix it. Little did he know that Pedro no, I'm not gonna. Pencil burns that baby! Let's go! You think I care about locals closing for another hour? I don't care. What's this thing right here, boys? What's this thing right here? It's called a computer. We're gonna go on Dueling Book and we're gonna build this deck from scratch. And then after that, after one hour, we're gonna go to locals, take this deck that we build, absolutely break this shit, build the best deck, and then destroy the meta. Pussy. Let's go, boy. It's time to build this deck. Our dueling book, and then after we build this deck, our dueling book, we're gonna take this deck to Game Nation at locals and build this deck in real life. And I'm telling you, man, you gotta build a deck that defeats the meta. So I'm trying to build a a budget pendulum deck that beats the meta, like that beats a Dragon Link board, literally without side decking. Uh, a lot of people confuse Dragon Link as like the crazy like if their combo resolves, you auto win. But you guys gotta understand, their board is actually very easily beat. They only put up two and a half negates and it's very easily beat. If you draw a monster that has over 1,000 attack, uh, you could pretty much defeat their whole board. So Penbest deck, we're building this deck right now. And then we're going to go to Locals and build this in real life. Let's go. I'm so hyped to take this to Locals. And I'm telling you guys right now, if you could take this deck, I don't care if your budget is $1,000 or $100. You can build the best deck. Let's go. But before we get into this video, if you guys want to see the most amazing Metal Falls deck profile tomorrow, tomorrow, you want to see the most best Pendulum Metal Falls deck profile tomorrow, you got to smash the subscribe button because when we hit 38, 38,000 subscribers, I'm going to release to you guys my updated new Metal Falls deck profile that puts up VFD with Fortnite gates that auto wins with everyone. Every day. Let's go, baby. Pen best deck, let's fucking go, let's go. Let's go, baby, pen best deck. So if you wanna see it, you smash the subscribe button. And now, it's time for budget pendulums. We're gonna get $100 and we'll beat that budget pendulum deck. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Pen best deck, let's go. Yo, the owner of the store uh, just came. Should we keep him locked out? Yeah, we should probably keep him locked up. Okay, we'll just keep him locked up. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll open it for him. Psych! <laughs> let's go! I borrowed him all this Oh, he has, he has a key. He has a key, so I guess the strategy won't, won't pan out. First place you gotta look when building a budget pendulum deck is obviously the Endymion structure deck. But, for some reason, they jumped up in price so we're just gonna go through the singles of those. But first things first, we are gonna look at Pivo, baby! Pendulum Evolution to find all the budget pendulum cards we need and that you need for your budget pendulum decks. Let's go. Let's go, boys! Time to build the best budget pendulum deck ever, baby! Come at me, magicians! Up, doctors, let's go. Oh, but you see, we're playing a budget pendulum deck. These are the supers. We gotta find the common ones from the structure deck. And you know what? As much as I want to play pimped out versions of cards, I gotta. Sometimes you just gotta bite, bite the. What's that saying that white, white people say a lot? Bite the bullet. Bite the bullet. Thank, thank you, white guy. I'm white, so I can make fun of white people. Let's go, boys. Pen best deck. We got a few cards. We're at the holy grail of pendulums right here. SRO8 and Demian. Let's go. Time to get the Demian structure deck. <laughs> It's literally a, it's a card. It's, a boy. it's literally a female. A Servant's a female. It's a card. It's a card. 
It's a card. Doesn't count. Bro, it's just a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Anyways, let's go. We're getting together a lot of the good cards. We're almost complete half the deck at this point. Wow. We're, we could build this deck probably for 70 bucks. Damn, that's crazy. That means no matter where you live, I think the cheapest way to build a budget pendulum deck is to fly to Game Nation in Toronto at 4914 Young Street A and build it. You can literally build the best deck for the cheapest price. Masteries for free. Let's go. No price tag. Let's add three of these. Didn't knowledge come in here? No. Wow, the Konami really trolled that hard. We put Blue Boy and Secrets and not knowledge. Spelling these bad boys. Premium Gold 3. Add these to the budget list. Nice Dragoon, bro. Ignister effect. Nice Dragoon, bro. Ignister. Handsome effect. Let's go. We're almost complete, man. I'm so hyped. Do you have any funny days to look through every Yu Gi Oh card in the game and build just the best budget pendulum deck? Look at that. We're almost done. And this is going to be well under $100. Well under $100. Let's go. You can buy a trip playmat too. And sign up for the Patreon. What a deal. In the description down below, you should go do so now. Let's go. Almost done here, boys. Just putting together a few staples now. All the budget list so far is definitely missing a few more magicians. You need to get the pen calls and some draw cards. Let's go find the draw cards and staples right now. Three rare desire. Upstarts. Let's add a common upstart into the void. Into the void. Alright. Just gonna add one of these. That way when we normal summon up Doctor, we cannot add the magician souls. We cannot add magician souls because it's a hundred dollar budget list. So when we want to make a Crowley, you normal summon the Doctor. Three counters, add the jester, special jester, make Crowley. So one jester will be required, but don't worry. We don't need to play souls in this list. I have a secondary way to defeat, to, I have a better way to play the deck without souls. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll show you guys the combo at the end of the video. How to still play as if souls is just not required at all. But you do need one just to confident. So add one of these to the list. Got some staple extra deck cards as well for super cheap. Three exactly. Sick. Thank you. Just got most of the deck here. I'm gonna put the deck together right now. See what our price is at. Hopefully it's, uh, I'm sure at the moment, we can only play two Selene's. We want to make space for a Boral Sword. I'm gonna say at the moment, I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be right now. I'm gonna guess 80 CAD, 80 CAD right now. And if that's the case, I could throw in the Boral Sword. We get to hit a solid 100 Canadian. We do have a price limit here of 100 USD. So we'll be left with about $30. Maybe put a little down payment on a Trip Gaming playmat. That's what you guys should have done in the first place, baby. Let's go. Get yours right now at TripGaming.com. Let's go. I'm going to do a quick deck profile for you guys here for a servant triple Dr. Jackal, Double Mighty Master, Triple Chrono. As you guys see, this is going to be the Magician list. Just super quick, just guys get an idea. We're going to play a Luster. That way, when you get Ignister with Harmonizer, you can summon out a Luster. Slots for going first. Super, super fast here. I showed you guys somewhat of the list earlier. This differs from the beginning list that we had in the beginning of the video, but that's totally fine. Obviously, you're going to want to make what you get. I think this budget list is really, really powerful. Add more spellbook cards in this version. Wait, this version is more consistent, and it consistently puts up a board of sloth uh, backed up with four negates, which is easily an auto win. All the draw cards, all the search cards. I know I lose to Droll, but Droll's for, for idiots anyways. And hand traps are for uh, virgins. So pen best deck, let's go. That's an extra deck. Just a few staples you want to put in. Third Selene's always nice. We do want to make room for Appaloosa. Basically, as soon as I finish up this entire deck, I'm going to take it to the front and figure out if it's going to be under 100 bucks. Those are all the cards we got. No side deck in here at the moment. But obviously, depending on the meta, you put in any side deck you want. Uh, I would like to put in a Savage or a Dragster. But, it, you know, Dragster is just uh, more cheap. These are budget alternatives, which I don't want to play. These upcoming 20 cards are just some decent budget cards you could put in. I opted not to play any of them, but they are good in a budget deck. Uh, but all these cards I didn't play. I don't want to play Pengraph in the main. Uh, there's not enough magicians for that. So that's just a quick look at the at the list at the moment. So we just built this deck, and now it's time to get my boy, Alan. Hello. You're gonna give me the Pen God discount for these yeah, cards, true. and you're gonna give anyone watching the Pen God discount because they're gonna come to wherever you live to the greatest locals, 4914 Young Street Game Nation. And we're gonna get to build this cheapest pendulum deck ever. So do your magic, bro. Hopefully it's under 100 bucks. We really wanna add Appaloosa in there too. 
Our goal is 100 USD. Asian people are good at math. That's a, it's a compliment. It's about 95 cat. 95 cat? That's it? Let's go! 95 cat! Let's go! Yeah, 72 USD? 72 USD? 78, 28 USD left. I'm gonna add Appalooza too. Because I assume you guys already bought your trip getting playmats, obviously. So how much is Appalooza? About 20? So that's basically less than 100 cat. 15. So how much is the deck in total with the Appalooza? 110 cat? Less than 110 cat and they took ten dollars off so we built it for 100 cat baby let's go ten dollar discount too so we built this deck for 100 cat let's go so i could do you guys could too okay let's go budget pendulums baby now it's time to show you guys budget pendulum combos hundred dollars you think a hundred dollars here and I built the best deck let's go let's go boys it's under 100 bucks let's sleeve this deck let's sleeve this deck let's go let's go very very cheap deck let's go that makes me happy that makes my wallet happy. I don't need to get no job. Jobs are for bombs. Pen best deck. Let's go. We're going to sleeve this up. And I'm going to show you guys a combo tutorial on how to do the budget pendulum combo in slow-mo this time. Let's go. Pen best deck, baby. Let's go. It is combo time. I will go a little slow-mo here. The deck profile, you guys already know, is like two versions of this deck I showed you guys. I'm going to show you guys a combo tutorial in more slow way just so you guys understand how to do it. We opened double mastery, which is never good because you can't use the second one, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. Going second double mastery is pretty cool because it's an auto negate from Herald or Savage, and then you just activate the second, and you bait it by having saving it near the uh, the beginning, and then use it right away. So we're going to keep drawing here. Just because you're playing a budget deck, it does not mean that you can't put up 10,000 negates. So you're going to see a really cool way here how we're going to LP combo with Dragon Caller, and you really don't need Dark Worm. I understand Dark Worm Pen Call would have been fantastic there, but there's a lot of people are playing herald and you cannot pen call dark worm like that and i understand that's like sedimentary but i'm telling you guys right now going second this deck defeats dragon link without side decking i'm not even joking i'm not even joking that original hand i showed you guys beats the full dragon link board be assuming they don't play smoke grenade because no one plays smoke grenade anymore so i don't want to play cards that like help it help them uh, stop that uh, the, basically, the way you do if you pen call Dark Worm, like, you just can't under a Herald. And I know you can enter Battle Base and attack it, but then you have a monster on field. So, I just opted not to do it for the specific meta, but obviously, Dark Worm is a great addition to this deck. Also, you don't, can't really do much with it. You can't make Crowley with it. I opted for more Spellbook uh, cards to ensure you more consistently to play it. And all those Spellbook cards, like, Forts and the Gates, if you summon a Blue Boy or Secrets or Knowledge or whatever that's getting sapped, one of them is getting, Knowledge is going to get Savage Dragon. And you have a free card in the field. And it's just so easy to, man, I can't stress how e easy it is to, to defeat them. Anyways, on to this combo. Uh, you have lots of plays we could do here. I'm going to opt to scale Mighty Master and do a really, really heads up play. Where I'm going to put the Celestial and then I'm going to use Mighty Master to pop the Servant of Endymion. Or sorry, my pop my desire. I pop my Desires. Because I don't want Desires to banish my Sloth. Now, going second, you still need Triple Desires. That's why I ensure to main deck it. But... I want pop my own desires instead of activating because I do not want to banish my sloth. Instead, I go daybreaker. I could have also popped my servant, but if I did that, then my dragon caller wouldn't be in the in the scale. So it's like a super heads up play there where Jackal is still protecting everything from hand traps. So they can't Nibiru me at this point or Nibiru Imprint because of Mighty Master. I gotta go Absolute. And then I'm going to go into uh over here with Celine. Celine is gonna bring out the Vortex. And now I'm gonna do a really cool play here. Where I'm going to make Dragon Caller target the Harm... Well, before I make Dragon Caller target the Harmonizing, I'm going to special the Mighty Master with the Selene. Then I'm going to make Dragon Caller target the Harmonizing make it a Dragon. And then because Dr Harmonizing is a Dragon because of Dragon Caller effect, I get special a Sloth. And in a budget deck here, with under $80, basically, we have a Sloth protected with a Vortex Jackal Mighty Master. And post-side deck, you have a Secret Village to protect your entire board. And no deck in the planet is beating this whatsoever. Forget Buster. You got Sloth. Let's go, baby. Pen best deck. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Budget pendulums. If you guys love what you see, smash the subscribe button. Because if we have 38,000 subscribers, I will post my updated Metal Falls deck with all the new cards that puts a VFD with four negates. It's absolutely broken. And Metal Falls best deck. Let's fucking go, boys. Locals, budget pendulum deck. Actually best deck. Because no deck can beat it, baby. Let's go. So if you guys like what you see, smash the subscribe button. Check out the Patreon down below because we're going to get better pendulums. And check out the beautiful Troop Gaming playmat on TroopGaming.com to get the D best playmats in the game. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's, hopefully, Metal Pose, tomorrow's video. Peace!